Hey, what's up everyone? So if you are not a 3D expert, but still looking for a simple and easy tool to create 3D mockup like this, this video is for you. So I have just discovered this very cool tool called Vectory, which is a very simple online 3D tool where you can just simply drag and drop your vector on bitmap design and extrude it to 3D. So Vectory is a web-based software pretty similar to Figma but for 3D and it offer pretty decent 3D tool for you to create visual like this in a very streamlined and uh, simple workflow so let's get into it so the first thing you do obviously is sign up and uh, once you, you sign in and then you have um, access to the 3D tool so let's go to the dashboard so I'm using a uh, free account which is still very cool because I think the, the only difference of the premium account is the ability to, uh, to collaborate and other team feature. Uh, but I think it's good with uh, the free version. So you can totally uh, sign up and check it out. So let's create a new project. Okay, here is the main uh, interface of the tool. Uh, I think it's pretty similar to uh, Figma at some point. Let's go to sketch. So I have this design here, uh, which is very simple, right? So the first thing we need to do is to export these element into SVG format so we can drag it into this uh, 3D scene here, right? First, let's take this frame and export it to SVG. A SVG format. And then let's name it a uh, frame, right? And then select the content. And for the content, I can export it to SVG, but one of the things about this is sometimes the SVG format is not always working because it depends on what type of vector you are in. So in order to keep it very simple for this type of content, I wanted to make sure that everything looks exactly the same as uh, what we have here. Uh, so I'm going to export into PNG instead, right? So maybe let's export it to 2x so we can have more resolution. Uh, so let's go with content all right next with this vector um let's bring it out here and make sure that you keep the, um, the layer here is very organized very minimal so that we can have a, a better chance of getting the at getting the output exactly the way that we see here uh, so let's um, combine everything so we only have two layers so we just have two layers like this and the icon uh, so we select the whole group and export to SVG. All right, export the color icon. All right, cool. And the next thing we need to do is export this as a uh, SVG also. Uh, so we have this. Let's call it a cloud. So for this sun here, I think I can create it from the 3D tool, so we don't need to export it. So I think we pretty much got everything we need, so let's go to Vectory, and then first let's create a infinity, no, an infinite plane. Yeah, what's too much uh, adventure. So basically it's just like a platform with uh, a seamless um, background, uh, so you can put things on. So let's drag the frame.fpg file here. So you can see that it's being loaded to the scene. So let's select this and go to the geometry tab. And then from the extrude option, let's give it a 15. So you can see that it's kind of create a solid uh, box for this frame. And then now we can convert this to geometry. So after converting this to geometry, you can have the ability to adjust the, the material of the box like this. So you can pick whatever color that you want. We have a, a lot of like 3D properties here that you can try. Roughness, uh, manliness, opacity, very cool stuff here. So let's give it a, a not really white but gray, a little bit gray colors. And for the roughness, so 100% mean that it has no reflection at all, there's no uh, glossiness. Uh, so maybe let's just give it 15 to see what it's like. Alright, so we have something like this. Right? So next, uh, let's drag this content PNG to the scene. Alright, 
so we have a bitmap plane here so for some reason that it is smaller than the plane which is fine let's scale it up a little bit uh, let me know type down this here all right cool so we have the content layer and frame layer here so let's group this layer into one group So now let's drag this icon SVG to see how it's gonna work. Then go to geometry and give it 15. A bit too thick, maybe 10. So you see this weird thing happening here. So all, what you can do is to adjust the offsets. Um, there you go, so I just love that you can bring it up a little bit so it doesn't look weird. Alright, cool. So we have this icon here, so maybe let's scale it down a little bit and move it to corners. Cool. Right, cool, so let's do the same process for the cloud. Um, so we have the cloud here, let's go to geometry and give it extra 10. Alright. So now for the sun, let's create a sun. It's very simple. So all you have to do is just to create a cylinder. Cylinder and maybe it's this big. And uh, increase this radius segment so it can look smooth. Something like this should be cool. So basically we have all of these layer here. So next thing you need to do is to make these look good so let's adjust some of these material uh, so let's select this sun and give it a orange yellow orange colors and maybe roughness 20 percent so emission is uh, some kind of a, um, a shining or brightness uh, so maybe let's try it 32 maybe 30 Let's select this uh, plane, the platform, and give it a darker colors. Uh, something like this, a little bit blue, gray, blue is gray like this. And maybe bring it up a little bit. Uh, bring it up a little bit. All right, cool. So now we have something like this. So let's go to this tab, renders, and you can click here to preview. Um, what the color we have so after clicking preview you can see that it gives you a very uh, drab um, vision of what it's gonna look like uh, which is really cool you see all of that cool sharp shadows going on here and also here very cool so maybe I can bring this up a little bit so it can feel more feel like this that there's more depth in the, the setup a little bit and then you can see the it starts to give you a shadow. So this is a live review, so it's very cool. You can see that how all the change can affect your scene. One thing that we can do is to make it look a little bit sexier is to go to object, right? And here you have the light tab, so you can create a lot of type of light here. So let's select this rectangle light. So it can give you a light here. Um, and let's rotate it to the right angle. Alright, so it's facing this direction, which is what I wanted, right? And maybe scale it up to 3. Move it a little bit up. So basically it's facing this direction, right? Alright, so here you can adjust the intensity of the light, maybe it reduces it a little bit. And you can also, um, you know, try with a bunch of color combination. Like you can give it a little bit of the warm colors here, um, and also you can also turn on and off the shadow because the light is going to give you some extra shadow here. So after playing around with all these properties and kind of happy with this um, look, uh, you can render the full resolution um, PNG uh, here. Um, and all you have to do is just click this button and give it a few moments and after this finish it will give you this PNG with full resolution here so you can also um, select any kind of resolution that you want so after the render is finished you can see that it's being downloaded here 
so you can open it and check it out so this is a full render so i think it looks very good and um, all you need to do is just give it some color adjustment you know, give it some nice uh, photoshop touch and this will be something very really cool to uh, show up to other people um, so I will keep exploring this um, very cool tool and I recommend you to try it um, especially that they have a lot of cool library here where you can have a lot of um, pretty decent material here and especially they have a lot of um, very cool graphical object free object for you um, so you can have a lot of freedom have a lot of uh, possibility to uh, to build up some uh, setup, uh, 3D setup, or our mock-up, or anything that you can think of. And thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.